What it fellas, the A.U. Chessy here. I'm back for another League of Marvel 2022 set news video for you guys. And this time, I'm going to show you guys a brand new MCU set for the lineup. And that is it, the two new official box art set images for the brand new set based off of Marvel Studios' Thor Love and Thunder. This is at 76208A. This set is called the Goat Boat. It ages 8 plus, it has 564 pieces and 5 characters. And this set is going to release in our local stores on April 26, 2022. And this set will cost 50 US dollars here in North America and around the world for the lineup. And holy crap, this thing looks awesome in my opinion. This is our first set for Thor, Love, and Thunder, the only set right here. Now, we heard we're getting a second set that hasn't been revealed just yet, but I feel like this is revealed from the Marvel website right here. Since I didn't check it out yet, well, I just saw it on some other youtubers video about this set and it looks so incredible in my opinion so here's the front of the box art set right here so this is a nice looking detail and i love the background right there that looks so awesome in my opinion i totally like the boat itself right there it reminds me of a viking boat because of the way it turns out and i like the box art we have thor and jane foster thor or lady thor in my opinion well on the box, they call her Mighty Thor right there. I love the Avengers A symbol right there with the blue and the gold detailing right there. That looks awesome. I like that in my opinion. And also, we do get two goats right there. And they are buildable, which is a little disappointing in my opinion. Well, I thought they were doing the moldings, but nope, it's brick built right here. So, And they are attached to the boat itself right here. And we do get... Really good minifigures. We do get Jane Foster, Thor, Thor himself, King Valkyrie, Korg, and Gore. So, Gorg, we don't know much about this character in the movie because they didn't drop the trailer just yet. Well, we heard the movie is coming out in July of 2022, but we're still waiting on that trailer. I'm still waiting on that freaking trailer, in my opinion. Well, I wanted that trailer since th this movie is coming out this year in July. But anyways, we do get our second Korg minifigure, and he looks so freaking awesome in my opinion. So here we have the whole box art. Like I said, this is the whole front part of the packaging right here. I totally like the detailing right there. It, it looks so nice. Like I like the movie logo right here, and all that looks pretty cool. Like we do see Thor and Jane Foster Thor right there, and that looks so nice. Like I can't wait to see how that turns out in the movie. And also, here's what the back of the box looks like, and it looks so incredible. We have the minifigure skill versions of Thor and Jane Foster Thor right there. And we do get a little play feature gimmick how you can open up the boat itself to see what the interior looks like. And we do get two goats in this set. We have a tan goat and we have a dark brown goat. So they are a brick built goat, which is a shame. Well, I wish Lego could make get more molding looking. They could just make a goat molding look for these goats right there instead of just brick belt well honestly i'm okay with it well it might may or may not disappoint well may or may not disappoint everyone else well everyone including me thought that the goats were going to be molded well some people think that might happen but nope they're just brick belt well still okay with that well i believe they're Face prints are stickers or printed. Well, hopefully they're printed because I don't like how they're going to become stickers in my opinion. If we do get a new Valkyrie minifigure, King Valkyrie right there. And we've seen some leaked pictures of that new hair piece for her. And the face print for her is pretty cool looking with that Tessa Thompson likeness right there. I like her new outfit in the movie. and It looks going to be very awesome. If we do get a new Thor minifigure right here. I really like this version of him. I'm glad he doesn't look like crap anymore since an endgame in three years ago. And I totally like that torso and leg printing right there, which is really nice. And he does come with Stormbreaker, which is not accurate at all. Well, they could have just made it accurate. They copied the same thing from Infinity War Endgame in the Infinity Saga. And speaking of that, that face print is from his crappy look from the Benatar set, the new Asgard set and the endgame battle set. So 
I totally like the leg and torso printing, which is his brand new suit that I can't wait to see in the big screen right there. And we do get our first ever Jane Foster Mighty Lady Thor minifigure. She looks really nice. She does come with Mjolnir right there, as you can see. So, yeah, that looks pretty cool looking. I just totally like how that turns out right there. And we do get Gorg, which is the new villain in the movie. He has a black sword right there. He has some wonderful torso and face printing right there, which is pretty cool looking. So Gorg is really nice. Well, we don't know much about this character at all because the trailer hasn't been dropped yet because the movie has been delayed like a couple of times. So, but this time in year, it's gonna release in July, like I said. And I like our new Korg minifigure. This is our second Korg minifigure that we've gotten right here. And he looks so freaking awesome in my opinion. I love his weapon, the pretty for his face, torso, and legs right there. And that looks pretty cool looking. So this is the outfit that we've seen, like some images, including that poster for him. And I can't wait to see it since I love Korg. He's one of my favorite MCU characters right here. And he looks really nice. And the boat looks pretty cool looking. So. We have some shield parts right there, which is kind of like some printed pieces or stickers. But like I said, we don't know about that just yet. We had to wait until the set is going to release on April 26th. So this is a nice looking boat. I like how you could open up the interior, which is one of the gimmicks right here. And you can fit all of the minifigures on there, which is pretty cool looking for Team Thor. So... Yeah, that looks pretty cool looking. And you can attach the goats on there, which is pretty cool looking. And yeah, that looks really nice. And I totally love this set. It is pretty cool looking. For 50 bucks, in my opinion, this is a nice looking set, in my opinion. Well, honestly, I am going to buy this because this is a pretty cool looking set. And I can't wait to see how the goat boat turns out in the film, which is pretty cool looking. And I can't wait to see how it turns out. So anyways, that is it for now. These are the two box art images for the new Thor Love and Thunder Goat Boat set that just revealed today. And this is a nice looking set for 50 bucks. And I can't wait for the second set right there since I heard we're only going to get two sets for the movie right there. And this is one of them right here. And the second one will reveal it soon. Well, I'm still waiting on that. But this one, I'm definitely going to be interested in. I'm going to pick this up, add this to my collection and review it soon in a couple of months so this is a nice looking set this is the first one for marvel studios thor love and thunder well the trailer hasn't been dropped yet because we're still waiting on that but it is what it is in my opinion so this is a pretty cool looking set and it is so freaking nice looking i can't wait for the movie to come out in july of 2022 which is this year and this is a awesome looking set with cool characters the goats right there and even the boat right there which is really nice looking for the lineup and all that glory is so cool looking for the franchise itself so nothing much to say but that is all i've got so far for the lineup so that is it for now thank you guys for watching remember to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new hit that notification bell the save button link in the description and hulk smash that comment section down below and tell me in the comments what you guys think about this set for the lineup i'll see you later i'll you